Boy, oh boy, that's Adam and Goody Two Shoes. In a way, it's been kind of a Doors hour because we had the Doors themselves with, with Moonlight Drive and also we had Blue Oyster Cult doing Roadhouse Blues with Robbie Krieger from the Doors uh, on stage at the same time. You saw that as well. And you should understand that Adam Ant, his new album is coming out. It should be out this week, as a matter of fact. And Adam Ant's new album, he's got a song, Hello, I Love You, the Doors classic on it. And he does a really fine job, too. I'm sure the Doors will, will say, hey, not bad from Adam Ant. Don't forget, too, Adam Ant will be be uh, touring real soon in the United States with a seven-piece band. If you've got any comments about what you see and hear here, in fact, people used to say, when you can get some old video clips for us, like the Doors and people like that, well, you have the Doors. If you've got any other suggestions you'd like to make, you need an address. I'm going to lay it on you right now. MTV Comments, Post Office Box 1370, Radio City Station, New York, New York, zip code 10101. Let us hear from you. It's Donkey Kong, the arcade sensation, and now you can play it at home. Hang on, sweetheart, I'm gonna save ya! Now you can play Donkey Kong on your ColecoVision, Atari VCS, or Intellivision video game system. Donkey Kong has both of us meet. Fuck me, you stupid ape! Play Donkey Kong on your ColecoVision, Atari VCS, or Intellivision video game system. Don't worry, darling! I'll oh, save ya! Help me! Oh, oh. Which full-size pickup has the highest gas mileage ratings? You just saw it. It's the 83 Ford. But let's look at that again in slow motion. Yes, Ford gets gas mileage ratings this high. A new high for full-size pickups. Plus, it's built tough with twin I-beam suspension. So catch an 83 Ford for yourself. It's down-to-earth tough. America's truck. Built for tough. MTV presents Stereo Test number 39, a service to help viewers adjust their stereo hookup for optimum effect. Your stereo and TV should now be in perfect sync. If your FM receiver is not hooked up to your television, you can't receive MTV in stereo. Please contact your local cable company for a special hookup. This has been a service of MTV Music Television. MTV, music television, all day, all night, all music. I'm J.J. Jackson with your favorite video music on MTV. Here's some classic video for you, a really popular band, more popular now than they have been in the past. That's The Doors with Moonlight Drive. Got some information you might want to hear on Dire Straits. I'll tell you about it in just a moment here on MTV. <laughs> Caught up in the rat race? Take an MTV break after work. Love you like I love you. School. play 24 hours a day MTV music television Dire Straits' new album Love Over Gold has become a worldwide smash the album is number one in England and Holland and this week it debuts at number 38 with a superstar on the billboard charts that's not bad at all you have to understand this record went gold even before it was released in the United Kingdom so it's a hot record Hopefully it'll do the same thing for Mark Knopfler and company here in the United States. Peter Solly. Well, the British producer has worked with Oingo Boingo, Frankie and the Knockouts, and also Steve Forbit, and he discusses his technique right now. Record producer Peter Solly. He has turned out characteristically divergent music for such bands as Oingo Boingo, The Romantics, The Bus Boys, Steve Forbert, Frankie and the Knockouts, and most recently, the Henry Paul Band. He was a performing musician himself with a Terry Reed band in the late 60s, and later with the crazy world of Arthur Brown. He refined his style of producing, surprisingly, by working on commercials. I became the Jingle King of England. Um, I loved it. I did jingles for three years, and that really taught me more about producing than anything. With declining record sales affecting the entire music industry, Solly expressed his positive view. I think it's 
really a symptom of our times, that um, a very healthy one, that we're cutting out the crap. Is it a good song? Yeah. Good record? Yeah. Who's playing? I don't know. That's the bottom line. That's where it all started. It was a great song and a great record, and people didn't know if Elvis or the da da da. It was just great songs, great records. I'm Corey James for Music Television. Now, later tonight, we'll have conversations with Joe Jackson, Carlos Santana, and the Beach Boys. I would be inclined to think that the moments that, that Neil Giraldo has with his wife, Pat, must be considered precious time.